Okay, you might be thinking that the name of this video, Statistical Data Analysis with Excel Made Easy, is clickbait, but it's not. And rather than try to explain to you why it's not clickbait, let me just show you. Off to Excel. Here we are in Excel, and I know it doesn't look like it, but this data right here, notice it's not even in a table. This data right here is going to allow me to conduct a statistical analysis between two groups of data. And it all started with just these two columns right here. The year and month and the conversion rate. And this is hypothetical data, but it's used to illustrate a real world example. For example, the paid conversion rate on my website. So what we can see here is I've got one year's worth of data, two years worth of data, and then the average monthly paid conversion rate. That's it, that was my original data. And I can do a statistical analysis. I can compare one group to the other and say, with statistical rigor, did something change? And it's super, super easy. Everything else, all these other columns, they look super complicated, but check this out. All this is, this is just the average, right? This is just the average of all 12 of these data points. Look at this. You just calculate this with a real simple formula. You calculate this with a real simple formula, excuse me. You calculate this with a real simple formula, real simple formula, real simple formula. That's it. That's all you need. And you just run it through your data with these simple calculations. You got a group here and a group here. And you can say, okay, cool. I can create a data visualization, a chart that allows me to compare this group from 2017 to this group from 2018. And that chart is known as a process behavior chart. And it is a statistical analysis technique. And it uses a chart. And let me just go ahead and scroll over and show you what I mean. So all of this data here produces this chart right over here. The magic of the chart are these lines, these lines. These are what are known technically as limits. However, I tend to think of them as data guardrails. So when you're doing an analysis, you can then just use these data guardrails and check out what's going on. And these guardrails here are statistically calculated. And here's what this chart tells me. And notice how this is a very statistical way of thinking about how this chart is communicating information to you. If I make an assumption that nothing changed between 2017 and 2018, then this green point right here would be statistically unlikely. Think about that for a second, statistically unlikely. This is the power of these charts. Because what it allows me to do is to say, okay, look, you know what? I've got this data from 2017, and let me characterize it in a statistical way. And that's what these guardrails do. That's right, but these outer guardrails, that's the easiest way to think about it. It characterizes what was going on in 2017. And then I can say, hey, do the same thing for 2018. Characterize what was going on in 2018. And then I can compare the two. And the idea, once again, is this. 2017 is my baseline. This is my frame of reference. This was the world as I know it. And my default position as a person conducting a statistical analysis is that nothing's going on, nothing has changed. That's what's typically referred to as the null hypothesis. So this becomes the baseline for determining whether or not anything is going on. And when I look at the 2018 data, sure enough, that shows me that something is going on because if this was the reality, then 2018 should look an awful lot like 2017. In fact, it should look almost exactly the same. And it doesn't because this green dot, if you draw a line, a mental line, all the way over, it's way above the upper guardrail. And given the power of these process behavior charts, what that tells you is that's statistically very, very unlikely. So you can say, yeah, things have actually improved in 2018. This data here with this chart shows me that there has been a change, an actual change between 2017 and 2018 for the better, as evidenced by this green data point right here. Statistical data analysis with Excel made easy. Let me tell you where this secret sauce comes from. This book right here, this is the secret sauce. There'll be a link to this book to Amazon down in the description below this video. 
at the time of the re- of this recording, getting this book is actually really hard and it's really super expensive, but that might change over time when you're watching this video. By the way, in addition to the book, I also teach a class on how to use process behavior charts with Excel. And all you need is basic Excel knowledge and you can conduct statistical analyses like I just described in this video. If you're interested in checking that out, it'll be in the description below. And also, if you're interested in checking out some more of my content, just go ahead and click up here on one of the cards and you can check out some more of my videos. Okay, that's it. Statistical data analysis with Excel made easy. Until next time, stay healthy and I wish you very happy data sleuthing.